friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and this is all about electron transport chain mnemonics so if you want to remember electron transport chain and its details within five minutes this video is just for you so stay tuned and watch this video so as I told you you can remember electron transport chain in five minutes why you need to remember a few things you need to know a little about this ox strong ox but the ox get killed by some cyclone so a cyclone killing an ox and uh, something about the great delicious food dishes and so many of food dishes so let's talk about it so to understand electron transport chain first thing that I should show you is the actual schematics of the electron transport chain and it might look Hebrew to you because you know there are so many components out there you know there are three things that you need to remember the first thing is all those important components of electron transport chain that is complex 1, complex 3, complex 4 and finally the, the complex 5 or ATP synthase and there is also complex 2 in the middle uh, which is nothing exactly as a complex as an enzyme of TCA cycle but second thing that you need to remember is the number of protons pumped out of this matrix into the intermembrane space of the mitochondria so that is another thing that you need to remember so how do you calculate all these things and also you need to know the electron donor and electron acceptor and the ultimate products that is H2 and ATP so that's the completion of the electron transport chain which you need to remember how exactly I built stories to remember that so the first sentence that I'll give you is going to get an idea about the overall flow of the electrons it says brother NAD and FAD cooked 442 dishes with water and energy which is in this case ATP so imagine brother NAD and FAD cooked 442 dishes with water and ATP so it's a pet name NAD and FAD so you start with NAD or NADH FAD FADH2 both of them are electron donors in the first place which you can see here so NAD starts with complex 1 FAD starts with complex number 2 uh, that's it and then CO cooked so CO means in this case coenzyme Q that's why I write co coenzyme Q is a mobile electron carriers which will take that electron from NAD and deliver uh, from NAD and FAD and deliver it to the complex number 3 and then from complex 3 it will go to complex 4 and ultimately uh, it will convert oxygen into water because oxygen is the electro, uh, electron acceptor here oxygen upon binding with the electron will convert into the water which as is a kind of a product but the question is how exactly ATP is developed to understand that you also need to know that in every single of this complex especially complex 1 3 and 4 there are protons transferred from the matrix of the mitochondria into the intermembrane space so this movement of protons are something like 4, 4, 2. That's why I wrote this down. 4 protons in complex 1, 4 protons in complex 2, and 2 protons in complex... Uh, 4 protons in complex 1, 4 protons in complex 3, and 2 protons in complex 4. There is no transfer of protons in complex 2. That's really not a genuine complex in there. So that's how the protons are pumped out into the intermembrane space and as the concentration of proton increases in the intermembrane space the proton gradient is utilized via a pump known as ATP synthase enzyme which is also known as complex 5 sometimes. So the proton from intermembrane space is transported into the mitochondrial matrix while the rotor unit of this ATP synthase start rotating which is combining ADP with PI to make ATP which is energy which is another product at the end. So brother NAD and FAD cooked 442 dishes with water and ATP that's why I told you to remember a good delicious dish food dish now the second thing you need to know is all about the name of this four separate components you know four separate complexes so what are the name of the complexes that's all about this red super cyclone killed an ox this sentence again red super cyclone killed an ox so start with red and red stands for reductive so the first complex name is NADH coenzyme Q oxidoreductase that's why I write reductase oxidoreductase the second one is complex number two is ACU so you go with succinate dehydrogenase which is actually an enzyme of TCA cycle now the third complex is CY and we call it uh, the cytochrome that's why you write CY at the beginning cytochrome BC1 complex that's the complex three and the fourth complex is starting with O so it's simply known as oxy oxidase that's why ox 
oxidase known as cytochrome oxidase so that's what all about the four separate complexes you know NADH coenzyme Q oxidoreductase complex 2 succinate dehydrogenase complex 3 uh, cytochrome BC1 complex and the complex 4 cytochrome C oxidase that's how you can remember the name of the complexes as well so that's uh, quite easy you know if you remember uh, a bull with uh, with the cyclone killing that ox and also in this case some good dish by nad and fad so that's how you can remember electron transport chain under five minutes if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that thank you very much for watching